Richmond is home to the Olympic Oval, the speed skating venue, and home to one of the fastest sports on ice. But that may not even be the coolest place to hang out. The Ozone will host Richmond's biggest party. And video journalist Sharon Bates profiles a Sunshine Coast artist whose giant installation at the celebration site may just freeze you in your tracks. Dressed in what looks like they're ready for a day on the slopes, Sunshine Coast artist Gordon Halloran and his team gear up to walk into a minus 27 degrees Celsius cold storage warehouse to work on his latest artistic creation. Ice Gate, as Halloran calls it, is a 30 meter by 3.6 meter wall of colorful ice, which will be displayed at the Ozone, Richmond's celebration site for the Olympics. The whole idea was to create a piece that would be a welcoming point or a gateway and so we call it the ice gate as a place for people to come and see the work but also to gather. And this will be the first time I've done anything on this scale in the Vancouver area. His art may be new to Vancouver but it's not the first time he and his ice paintings have been part of the Olympics. In 2006, Halloran was the only Canadian artist invited to be part of the Cultural Olympiad in Turin. The way it works into the yellow there, it's great. There, his frozen paintings were exhibited in an unheated ancient church. The Italians love that sense of the modern in, in juxtaposition with the traditional. Halloran's latest work is far from traditional. Most artists, when they finish a painting, hang it on a wall. But to display ice paintings, Halloran needed to design and build a refrigerated wall. To make this one-of-a-kind structure, Halloran collaborated with Sunshine Coast contractor Alan May and Victoria refrigerator guru Ray Sutherland. Well, I build ice rinks for a living and he asked me how can we bring his art form on the road. So we've developed a refrigeration system for him that allows him to take it anywhere. The wall is made up of 15 aluminum panels and uses less electricity than heating your house. These are the, this is the other side of the refrigerated wall panel, so this is where the ice adheres to. They, they put the ice on and they put water behind and it freezes to the wall. So once we get everything done inside, then we put the glass in. While the crew battles the outside elements to finish the wall, back at the cold storage, Halloran and his team battle the inside elements. One of the difficulties is just breathing properly. Uh, you're so bundled up, you know, we have uh, balaclavas, we cover our faces and we, we also wear uh, ski masks to protect your eyes and your eyeballs. And, and from anything that would be open and get frostbite. Uh, we only work maybe 20, 25 minutes at a break. It's very easy to lose your focus in the cold. Sometimes it feels a little crazy, but a little bit of madness goes a long way when it comes to art. I love this work because it really forces you to become aware of what your body needs. And just that extra need for you know, personal space and, and exercise and taking care of one's body is so, becomes so clear. Because if you come in and you haven't slept or you come in and you're exhausted, the second you walk through that door there, you go, oh God, it's, it's this again. Working in minus 27 degree temperatures is difficult, but part of the journey to fulfilling Halloran's vision, one he says parallels the vast expanse of our country. In this particular painting, I think there'll be quite a rugged surface on it, uh, so something like a glacial wall that has been moving down a mountain and has now reached the water and is about to calve off into that water. So it has that kind of mythic quality of scale that we're trying to work with. And I think that that expresses a little bit about where we come from. Ice Gate will be on display at Richmond City Hall starting February 9th.